Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning, John. Good morning, Art. How are you this morning? I'm absolutely feeling terrific. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I am going to surprise you today. I have a little surprise. Wow, yes. Oh, okay. Hopefully, you won't get a heart attack. I'm but, holding on uh, to my desk. At our age, you never know. <laughs> yeah. So here's, here's my surprise. I am flip-flopping. As you know, as you know, on this COVID-19 stay-at-home sequester stuff, I have been the more dare I say it, liberal of the two of us. You've been very conservative. You've said, stay at home. You've got your grandkids can't, they have to drive by in the car and wave to you. I'm hugging my grandkids. I'm going to the store whenever I feel like it. You're getting your groceries delivered. This has been, you know, the, the yin and the yang of the old folks, I think we represent. Now, by the way, so I, think, today, I think you're absolutely right. Um, most people would never believe that you're the more liberal <laughs> of the two of us <laughs> well it's we all have our we all make our mistakes so today i'm flip-flopping because as you know um the country is quote opening up you know more and more states have reduced the regulations I've, i'm not sure what the right language is but um all of a sudden uh, we are seriously facing uh, the new normal whatever that is but it's not the sequester. We're moving out of the sequestration phase uh, into a temporary new normal. Well, the, my flip-flop is this. I'm glad to see that. I've kind of been waiting for it, but I want people to be cautious. I'm, I'm all of a sudden sending up the alarm because I know that even though people around the country have been clamoring to get out of the house, clamoring for the rules and regulations to be dropped. In fact, many cases have been protesting in the streets against them. Um, I know that the nature, human nature, is that they're going to overdo it. They're going to go out. People are going to feel freedom. They're not going to wear their masks. They're not going to. They're not going to worry about six feet uh, distancing. Um, and maybe some restaurants will open up despite uh, whatever regulations they have to protect the public. So my fear is that we're going to overdo it and that people are going to forget that there's a large segment of the population, that would be you, me, and everybody over 50, who is the most vulnerable uh, to the, so, to the uh, COVID-19 virus. And we need them really to protect us. Whoa. We can take care of ourselves, but I need them to be cautious. Great, start going to the little league games or go to the, you know, the, the whatever the activities are going to be as we open up the country. But my word is, please be cautious. Please, for the sake of the grandparents of the world and the people over fifty. A lot of people over fifty aren't grandparents yet, by the way. You, in case you didn't know. Do you mean? Do you mean be? Be cautious as in wear a mask so that you don't infect others, that others don't infect us. Is that the well, kind of what you're thinking about? Yeah, maybe. We're going to find, look, as this, as the country opens up, it's it's as experimental as it was when we closed down the country, all right? Mm. Nobody really knew what was going to work. They just, this is the best they could figure. In the past, you isolate uh, the, the sick people so the rest of the world doesn't get sick. Um, think of tuberculosis. That's what they did with it. They had tuberculosis hospitals and sanitariums. Um, but my fear is not that people are going to stop wearing masks because at some point that may not be necessary. My fear is that they're just going to forget about it and, and it's second nature and they're not going to be cautious, whatever the appropriate cautiousness might be at the time, because they're going to forget, you know, People who are 40, 20, particularly kids, you know, teenagers, 18, 22, in that age, you know, they have no concept of what it's like to be old. And they don't see anything in the future. It's live for today. So I want them to be cautious. So I'm throwing up, I'm throwing up <laughs> the caution flag. Well, the yellow flag is out. Well, Charlie Brown. 
This is Lucy, and I've been very patient and attentive to you to let you uh, <laughs> come out of the closet, flip-flop closet, as you, as you will. So I've been glad to provide that service of a, a sounding board. But uh, while I've given up flip-flops probably 10 years ago, don't even have any in my closet. Uh, traded it in for sandals or bare feet. When, when you moved to Southern California, they called them huaraches. <laughs> I don't think I... I was never much of a flip-flop wearing guy, but no, I'm coming out of my my conservative, uh, strict closet as well to really? um, admit that I went out... I ventured out to a place that had other people uh, <gasps> late <gasps> last week. Well, late last week, early in the morning, so I'm, uh, I haven't overdone it. You did the, you I, did the 7 o'clock seniors only. I'm a first online kind of guy, and I went yeah. to have a blood draw for oh. a doctor's appointment, which will not be by tele-doctoring, but I have two doctor's really? appointments coming up, one for my skin doctor who told me, don't go to the beach, you don't need flip-flops because you did enough damage when you were young. So I have him 8 o'clock. And then at nine o'clock, I have my annual physical for which I took the blood test in the same right. building. And uh, one of them is at eight in the morning, and which is his first patient. And the other one is nine o'clock in the morning, which is his first patient. And I'm going to be wearing a mask. And I'm yep. going to be wearing, I have um, a whole box of gloves for when I get the, uh, my kids deliver food or Instacart delivers food. Uh, I wear these... Um, uh, uh, very thin, like seven mil thick uh, gloves that, that people use when they do food preparation. Yeah. So, and I wipe down all the boxes and things like that. But did I, I did venture out to that. And I'm going to now, t as a voyeur, because I know that you, you really want to hear me do wild and crazy things, uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to do a 7 a.m. seniors only run to. Uh, a store next week, maybe twice, maybe <gasps> maybe once to Costco. God bless okay, you. Okay, but I'm going to be wearing a mask. Uh, I'm going to be wearing a. Um, I got coffee filters, which apparently are really good to simulate uh, uh, the protection, not only to protect others, to put inside the mask. To put inside the mask, because what that oh. does is that provides that protective layer, and you can toss sure. them. They're really inexpensive. Yeah. Um, and so, and they're good to make coffee if you after you breathe. <laughs> especially if if you're using uh, uh, beer from a Corona uh, <laughs> virus. Uh, corona, yeah. corona light. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I've um, uh, I recognize that you know these are we're probably going to be venturing out more, but I'm going to be doing it in in that such a way. But I also uh, uh, and I by the way. Uh, I don't think you've really flip-flopped. Uh, I think that you were always concerned about going to theaters and to places where uh, people were just not paying any attention to rules of physical distancing, not social. Sure. I think it's sure. really the proper term is physical distancing. So yes, it is, I don't yeah. think you've you've um, uh, uh, flip-flopped. I'm going to uh, withdraw your uh, as Lucy. Darn. That that you didn't really flip-flop. Uh, nice try. Darn. You've all, actually always felt that way. Um, <laughs> but, but, um, but, but you have uh, dogs. Um, none of them look like Snoopy. No, uh, Dugs. Dugs. My you, Dugs. You have, yeah, yeah. You have what? <laughs> three Dugs. Do we have two Dugs? Two Dugs. Did you use that three? Two Dugs and a Dug up and a Dug up the hill. Oh, a Dug up the hill. Digging in our garden. Right, and chickens and ducks and well, you don't have and ducks. chickens and yeah, whatever. Right. But anyway, so uh, I think all of us. Uh, and it would be great to hear from uh, our audience as well, is how they are evolving over time. And it's not yes. a question of feeling cooped up or anything else. It's a question of, okay, with the proper protection, uh, uh, t taking care not to infect somebody else, which is what the masks right. for us are really mostly about. And then maybe taking some extra... And also another thing I'm going to wear, uh, I saw a, a story about um, a doctor... Uh, who's also, or I don't know his doctor, just a correspondent, who is fairly well convinced that he got, he was on a packed airplane 
and while he was wearing a mask and everything else, he thinks it probably just came, they tell you not to touch your face because uh, it's easy for it to enter your body through your right. uh, eye fluid. Eyes. And he's fairly well convinced that, that it's likely that that was the entry point for him. So wearing goggles, because I've done all these experiments showing um, wow. showing uh, 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 illustrations of people just going into a room and then having one person have some kind of thing on their hands or their yeah. lips. And yeah. then they show it like 15 minutes later and it's all over everybody. Right. Okay, just from them speaking, not from even coughing. So we don't know yeah. enough about it. So I guess as an abundance of caution, wearing, uh, and I have shop goggles, the, the plastic shop goggles in the house. And I've actually seen people... Um, on television now, you know, when they go out and they're they're just going out and about. <clears throat> Some of them are now wearing swim goggles or those kind of goggles. So I That's think we're going to see all manner of things like that. That's interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. When we know more about it, I right. think. Uh, I, I, as you know, I wear dark glasses every time I'm outdoors for my eyes to right. protect my eyes, and oftentimes I have them on inside just because I forget about them. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be a natural for me. But again, my instinct is, going back to not flip-flopping, my, my instinct is the goggles might be a, a bridge too far for me. Okay. Um, I'd like to, I'd want to hear more of the science. Uh, for me, again, it's always about balancing to the caution side, not to the fear side. We should be working out of caution, reasonable caution. Uh, in my book, there's a lot of pages in the dictionary between caution and fear and i i, I want to go to caution e -F. this this is like we're talking about three four letters apart it wasn't like between apples and it's zippers it's not like this distance between apples and zippers okay it's like well c i don't zipper my apples F, so fear. it doesn't matter okay yeah. but so so but my abundance of caution is it doesn't hurt anybody uh, if i wear the goggles while i'm out there it doesn't hurt yeah. anybody uh, that's true and here here's and it potentially my potentially protects me but it doesn't hurt me so that's my thinking right here's my thinking and i'm it's the flip-flop you don't quite oh, you never quite understand what i'm trying to say which is why i love to over explain stuff to you art Boy, you're, explain, and you're good at that too let me explain <laughs> this to you you got okay? some explaining to do <laughs> i got some explaining lucy mm -hmm. um so the deal is you and I, and those of us in the um, highly uh, susceptible population, we're wearing these masks and goggles for our own protection. That's that's. Is that's it or is it to protect about. other people? No, 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 no. First, for our own protection. Oh, okay. Think about this. Think about this. We're not the we're we're vulnerable if we get it. So chances are. If we protect ourselves, we won't be spreading it to anybody else. So the first thing is we're protecting ourselves. You don't see it that way. No, because you think because without the coffee else. filter, I don't think we are protecting ourselves because they're so porous. But you know, well, just different that's debatable. So, to whatever degree, you know, so you want to wear goggles and I don't. The point is that we're we're both taking what we think is reasonable caution, mm -hmm. cautionary tactics. That's just by the way, our entire time. audience is probably all over the lot. I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. So my caution is to all those other people who are not over 50, who are not in the vulnerable category. I want them to be cautious and keep wearing their masks and their goggles because my fear is that they're going to – I have no problem if you wear goggles or four sets of – four layers of clothing or whatever you think it's going to – that's fine. My fear is that the people who are going to be the carriers, the people who are going to get it the most – the people between 18 and 40, the people with the little kids who pick up every disease known to man in the playground, they're going to get it. They're going to forget to be cautious. They're going to forget that the rest of us, the, the over 50 crowd, are very vulnerable. And they're going to make our lives more difficult because of their lack of caution. Well, John, That's my fear. John, I think that this is another illustration of why we make such a good team, because you may not realize it, but you have now inspired a new symbol, a face mask with the uh, uh, typeface under it saying, don't shed on me. Okay, because that's what they call when people have the yeah. disease and they just 
they shed, got, yeah. and they're shedding it. So it's we can make a like a you know the Medusas with a with the, the flag yeah. that has a, uh, a the, the serpent on it, and so don't Staff, yeah. okay, don't shed on me. Don't it's shed a on fa- me. It's a face mask, and I think I love it. And you know what? Like um, uh, Phil was it uh, Phil Jackson who got three yeah. Pete. Yeah. Okay, I am declaring that don't shed on me with a face mask it. is ours. It. It's a celebrating act too. And yes. uh, with one of our graphic artist friends out there, help us by doing... Please, please. please with, a, with a face mask and a don't shed on me and a TM. And uh, yeah. we'll use it in our next broadcast. I love it. I love it. In the meantime, because there will be a next broadcast. Yes. Be sure to go to celebratingact2.com. And go to youtube.com slash celebrating act two and watch all our videos and subscribe. And you can you can binge watch our uh, vlogs, as you like to call them. Vlogs. Vlogs. Yeah, Vlog. I think that's the Transylvanian pronunciation. So anybody, Vlog. so like they said in Hill State, Hill uh, Street Blues, Hill Street Blues, one of Hill the Street, sayings was, yep. uh, be careful out there. Because they followed it up, get them before they get yes. you. But, yeah. Well, I don't remember that be, one. But, uh, be careful out be, there. Be yeah. careful out there. Yeah. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks, John. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.